How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you the new redesign of the Google Play Store and show you how to get it on your phone. However, it's no guarantee that my method will work since this is a server update and Google keeps on enabling and disabling it with every new update of the app. So first let me show you what this update consists of. The overall theme is now white. It used to be a combination of colors depending on the category you were in. So for apps or games, the banner would be green, movies would be red, books would be blue, and music would be orange. Now all those tabs have been moved to the bottom for easier access, and no matter what page you're in, the background is always white. However, the icons still animate to the appropriate color. You may have also noticed that the music tab is missing. You can find it in the slide down menu, and you can still search for music and buy albums and songs within this app. But from the looks of it, Google might be trying to push its users towards their Google Play Music service where you need to pay $10 a month for unlimited listening, sort of like Spotify or Apple Music. It makes sense too, I mean, why would you want to buy a single album that costs around $8 to $11 when you can just pay for a music subscription at that same amount? Also, I know what you're thinking, why is there no dark theme within this app yet? I honestly don't know. I'm hoping by the time Google releases the Pixel 4, we'll begin to see a dark theme within the Play Store, especially considering that almost every other Google app has a dark mode option, and the system dark theme within Android Q is a lot better now. But don't quote me on that, for now I will continue to use Substratum if you have that option. At the top, you still have the sub tabs for things like top charts, categories, editors, choice, early access, etc. And the search bar has been updated with rounded corners, new text, and an outline microphone icon. The slide down menu to the left is still pretty much the same, just the icons have an outline design and the only new option is the browse music. A new thing that I've noticed is that when you want to search for something, you no longer get a drop down menu. Instead, you get a full fledged page. As of now, it only shows you the search history, but I'm hoping that once Google starts rolling out this update to everyone, this page will show you live results of the things that you typed in. Within an apps page, there are a ton of objects that have been moved around and changed. The ratings and number of downloads are above the install button. The category bubbles have been pushed down towards the bottom near the description. The install button is now a lot wider and fills the entire screen unless there's a try now button. And when you tap on it, the progress bar is now shown around the apps icon, which looks a lot better in my opinion. For the description, it now reads about this app instead of read more. And the screenshots and trailers are now rounded and have a shadow effect. That's basically all the changes that Google has made for the Play Store. It's more of a redesign update. Since this hasn't been pushed out to every phone yet, there's still a possibility that Google may change or add in new features in the coming weeks. But from the looks of it, most of the changes that I just showed you are set in place. Now before I show you the method to try and get this on your phone, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Rap Power for sponsoring this video. Rap Power has a ton of amazing tech products that you can buy off their website. One of my favorites is their File Hub wireless router. As you can guess from the name, this little device acts as a travel router to let you share Wi Fi or create your own Wi Fi network. Perfect for when you're in a restricted network like a hotel's Wi Fi where you can only connect a single device at a time. With this little thing, you can connect all your devices even if the network is restricted to only one phone or computer. On top of that, you can connect storage devices such as SD cards, flash drives, or any other external hard drive. And within an app called RAV File Hub, you can quickly access and transfer those files to your phone. Or you can also back up your phone storage onto the hard drive wirelessly. So basically, it acts as a network attached storage. You can also connect a Chromecast to this thing and play videos or music through Chromecast to the big screen. And as if that wasn't enough, this device also acts as a power bank with 6700 milliamp hours so you can charge any device that you want on the go. All of that for just $60, however, if you use my promo code HTMWD009, you'll get $12 off the original price, so it'll only be $48. This code is only valid until June 27th, so don't wait too long. I'll drop a link down below if you're interested. Now for the installation process, this is a hit or miss situation. This method was working for me a few days ago, and then it stopped working, and then a few days after that, it started to work again, but when I went to record the tutorial the very next day, it stopped working. But maybe in a few days after I upload this video, it'll work again, so I'll just show you the process anyways. First, you're going to tap on the APK Mirror link in the video's description, and once you're on the website, look for the latest Play Store version. Then make sure you select the variant that has zero in the title, because that option supports every Android phone. Download the APK, install it, and it should install without a problem. From there, you still won't have a new look, so we're going to need to clear the app's data. So go into the app's info page, tap on storage, and clear storage. From there, restart your phone, and once you boot up, you may or may not see the new update. Again, when I recorded this video, the new redesign didn't pop up, so I'm sorry I couldn't catch it on video, but still, give it a shot and it may work. If it doesn't work, then come back a few days later and try this method again. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. 
Also get subscribed with the notification bell turned on so you can see even more awesome Android tutorials like this one right away. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!